Hello everyone and thank you for tuning into Trade Chat. My name is Panzer and today we're going to be talking about all of the new mounts coming in patch 7.3 and how you can get them. I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you do, remember to rate it, thumbs up. Let's start off today's video with my favorite mount coming in patch 7.3, the Vicious War Fox. This mount actually has two different variants, one for Horde and one for Alliance, so as you probably guessed by now, it is related to PvP. This mount can be purchased with the Vicious War Saddle, which players can earn by winning 40 rated battlegrounds or 100 arena matches in a single season. Now what's kind of nice about this is even though that is a lot of wins and it's a lot of commitment, it doesn't matter how many losses that you have in between those wins and it doesn't matter what your rating is it just is 40 uh, rated battleground wins or 100 arena wins so if you are dedicated enough even if you're horrible at PvP you can get them out which is what I keep telling myself because that's the only way I'm gonna get it is through sheer dedication and many losses in between the wins <laughs> For those of you who actually are good at PvP, this season's gladiator mount is yet again a storm dragon. This time it's called the Dominating Storm Dragon. If you've been following any of the news about Patch 7.3, you're probably aware by now that we are going to be headed to Argus, the home of the Legion. And while this place sounds very scary and awful, it's actually awesome if for no other reason than there's about a bajillion random world mount drops, including a whole bunch of mana rays. There's the Lambent Mana Ray, the Darkspore Mana Ray, the Vibrant Manta Ray, the Felglow Manta Ray, and the Scintillating Manta Ray. In addition to the Manta Rays, there are also several variants of Vile Fiend, which can be obtained via Random World Drop on Argus, like the Acid Belcher, the Crimson Slaver Maw, and the Bile Tooth Nasher. Like with every major patch, we will be introduced to a brand new raid. This one is called Antorus, the Burning Throne, and there are a whole bunch of mounts that you can earn from this raid. The Antoran Charhound is a drop from Shatog, which is a boss in Antorus. The Shackled Urzul is a drop from Argus the Unmaker on Mythic Difficulty. There are other colors of this mount data mined as well, but we don't know how to obtain them. The Violet Spellwing is a quest reward possibly for completing the new raid or killing the final boss. We don't know for certain, but the data suggests that this will be obtained in a method similar to the Grove Warden Friendship Moose Mount from Hellfire Citadel, so hopefully you will see a whole lot of those flying around because that is an amazing mount. And finally, the Antoran Gloomhound is a reward for the achievement Glory of the Argus Raider. In addition to the PvP mounts, the random world drops, and the mounts that can be earned from raids, 7.3 will also bring with it a couple factions that will allow you to earn mounts through reputation. The Reigns of the Sable Rune Strider, Russet Rune Strider, Umber Rune Strider, and the Maddened Chaos Runner will all be available to purchase once you have reached Revered with the Argusian Reach. The Reigns of the Amethyst Rune Strider, Barrel Rune Strider, and Cerulean Rune Strider will all be available to purchase once you've reached Exalted with the Argusian Reach. The Lightforge Warframe is a new golem type mount which will be available for players to purchase once they've reached Exalted with the Army of Light faction. The 7.3 PTR data also shows three variants of a new Lightforged Alec mount and while we don't know exactly how to obtain this, we do know it drops from a gleaming footlocker which to me sounds PvP related but that is just speculation, it's just a guess we don't actually know yet. 7.3 will also be bringing new puzzles for players to figure out and if they do, they could receive the Lucid Nightmare mount which is a black and purple unicorn. This is expected to be obtained in a similar way to the Sundarter Hatchling or the Riddler's Mindworm. The Darkmoon Dirigible mount was data mined quite a while ago but it looks like it will finally be added to the game in 7.3 and will be available to purchase for Darkmoon prize tickets at the Darkmoon Fair. The Pond Nettle is a new underwater mount that will be obtained by fishing somehow. <laughs> and finally, the data shows us the Stormwind Sky Chaser and the Orgrimmar Interceptor, although these might not be actual mounts since they're usable at level 1. They may just be vehicles that we use for an event or a scenario, but who knows? They could lead to actual mounts. I don't know, but they look cool, so I included them in this video. 
And as far as I know, that is it. That is all the new mounts coming in patch 7.3. For me, my absolute favorite mount is the Horde Vicious Warfox, but I also love the Light Forged. I keep wanting to call it the Light Forged Golem, but it's the Light Forged Warframe. But yeah, I would love to hear what your favorite mount in 7.3 is and which ones you plan on collecting, or maybe you don't care at all. I don't know. Let me know in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please thumb it up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I am going to go. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I love you all. You're in my hearts. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. 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 It'll be worth it, I swear. <laughs> you just have to have that number of wins. So, so statistically speaking, not my shaman, because my shaman's a healer, and being a healer is kind of painful in PvP because everybody's just like, target the healer. Well, if they're alliance, they want to target the healer. If they're on my team and they're horde, they're like, I'm derping around just fighting anybody in the middle. <sighs> is this my experience or is it everybody's experience? Because man, oh man. Man, oh man. <laughs> because I'm not made of money, Blizzard, okay? I'm not made of money. Gosh. Or the mind riddlers. Fuck, the riddlers mind word. Are ya done? Friggin' motorcycles, man. Eventually, if you really want it, you could get it. It just might be a real grind to do so. I'm talking to myself right now, not you, because I want that mount real bad, and PvP is not my forte, but I kind of need it. I, I kind of need it. And although it is the demon homeworld, it's not entirely evil. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you kidding me with the crotch rockets? <laughs>